All right. Cyberspace, garbage pill junkies and prospectors are all like everybody out there. Anybody just popping into this channel might be finding me by accident. I got a package in the mail, okay? This is from Tops Consumer Fulfillment, all right? And I want to say, ooh, I'm not positive. I'm not positive, but I'm going to open it. Because I got one over here, okay? And I'm pretty positive that this one is for um, the expansion week when they started doing these 90s expansions. I think this is week one. This is a total different um, package. And this package, I want to say, is my missing hits from Food Fight. So, we're going to open it. You can do whatever you want. Sure, it's not a big deal. But we're going to open this up and see if this is Missing Hits from Food Fight. Let's go. Last time I opened up Missing Hits or Damage, it was pretty uh, iconic. Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> it definitely is. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Let's see what we got. Cod for replacement. All right, wait a minute. Dear John, thank you for submitting your Tops Missing Hit claim form. Oh, because what I did was... Listen, this was crazy. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yo, this is insane. So, well, I did my claims form, and I put the receipts. I had two cases of Food Fight with three missing hits out of three tins. And I have videos on them all. If you've watched all my videos, you've seen where I come up short on three different tins where I got nothing. Not a wacky package. Not a, um, auto... And not a uh, uh, sketch card in three. Three of the of the two cases that I bought. But I also took all my food fight packages that I had random. I mean, all random ones. Whether they were fat pack, whether they were um, from hobby, or whether they were from um, collector tins. And I took them and I put them in the, um, back inside the, the uh, actual pack, the package. You know, like the package they come in. And I wrote a letter and I said, you know, I videotape these. I've been doing these with my children. I love it. I enjoy the um, cards. I said, but you guys really got to do something with your damage control because all these came up damaged. So I don't know what we're going to get here. We're about to open this up. This is a mystery to me. It's a mystery to you. But I'm going to say something that's serious. You can try to do what I do. And like, you know, everyone was, there was this... There was either love it or hate it, and it's kind of crazy because with Blunt Factory, uh, Blunt to Miss Prime, uh, John Anthony Scott, um, you either love me or you hate me. There's no in between, and that's how it's been my whole life. Um, so the thing is, the one thing is that I'm going to tell you people out there is you can never duplicate what I do, no matter what I do in life. The best thing for you to do is be you. You can imitate, but you can never duplicate, you know what I'm saying, with anything in life. So, you could try to take a missing hits form, or you could try to take a, a damage and send it in, but you're never going to do or say what I do and say. I'm not giving you the lowdown on how I talk or what I did, but the way I present myself is a whole different manner than the way you're going to present yourself, and that's the way it should be with everything in life. Don't duplicate other people, be yourself, and do, do your own thing. So, get ready to get mad, you damn haters. Ready? Here we go. Let's see what we got here. So, I did get uh, a wacky package. Holy crap! <laughs> wow! Yes, baby! Wow! So, Mr. Isaac, I've only hit one card. From you, and it was in a crashes set. I was so disappointed. I was so upset because I always wanted to pull a, a low card. Well, I got one. Oh boy! Whoa. Look at that nasty, nasty, delicious, lovely, lovely card. Oh my goodness! And what else? Oh boy! I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, it looks like there's some blood. Is that blood? Oh, blood is bad. <laughs> no, but look at that card. So that's it. That's awesome. That's my three missing hits. That's my three missing hits. That's my three missing hits. But look at that baby right there. Yo, Isaac, I just said the other day, I said, you know what, man? The one I got 
The only one I got was really weak. This is phenomenal. This is what I expect from this guy. Because he's one of the most amazing artists. He's a top tier artist. He's one of the very best in the game. Um, this is my opinion. Okay, just my opinion. There's so many styles of art and art, you know, uh, artists that are doing such unbelievable art. Like, everyone loves Jasmine. She uses the glitter. Cool, right? Becky, unbelievable. She is unbelievable with the paints and her style. Bobby B, ain't nobody messing with him. He can draw. He can do clay. He can do anything. But when it comes to doing, Lowe has like this fear of loathing Las Vegas type feel with him. Right? He's one of the top. Pat? Pat is like, man, I don't know. He is like almost untouchable, the guy. The stuff he does, those freezer packs where the garbage bills in the cellophane and frozen, the things he does, what's coming out of his brain is unbelievable. And then I got to say Chris Meeks because Meeks, with that card that he put on eBay that went for over $6,000 with every OS1 character... He set the standards for everyone. You either got to jump that hurdle or you're going to come below that hurdle. And that's the way it's going to be for everybody because that dude, he set standards for the rest of these artists that it's going to be really, really, really hard to touch. So I got to say, when it comes up to the to the to the grinding grinding like like that bar, the bar, man, I'm telling you it's 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 crazy, but that bar is up there, man. And and until I see somebody dropping some sketch cards that are hitting over six grand, I'll tell you, man, Meek set that bar too high for people. And and I like it, because I like to see the playful and the fun and the and the um the competition between each other. You know what I mean? And it should be. Because they're not getting big dose for this. But you know what? This is their promotional card that they get, right? And then when you need to hit them up for art, well, then they can charge you what, what their art, artist fee is. But can you believe we just hit this? This is serious. This is so serious. I can't even believe this. Can't even believe it. Been wanting one like this forever. Finally got one. Finally got one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's weird, though, because they're not food fight. These ones aren't food fight. So I didn't get a food fight. That's crazy. Now let's see what we got here. These are food fight. Let's see what we got. I can't even believe we just got that low. Oh my goodness. Wow. Woo! Let's see what we got. Just probably some cards. Because I sent them a whole bunch and just showed that they were all destroyed. That's cool. I'll take them. I love food fight. Food fight's like some of my favorite. Last Mila, yeah, love it, got it. But I showed him, I'm like, look at the, I told him, I said, look at the roller marks, look at the, the, the tape is that, you know, that I had all the peeled up sticker, and I said, this is what we, we're getting, guys, you gotta do better with your damage control. I said, I'm hoping that the next cases, because I've been buying cases, I said, I went from buying things to buying cases, I said, I'm really hoping, now come on, if Fanatics takes over, you're gonna tell me that's too bad, that blood? This is a phenomenal one. This is one of my favorite ones in the set, you know? the They can't do that. Bloody Mary. Is that going to be too much, the Bloody Mary? The, the Tony with the blood in the cup? I mean, because that's phenomenal. It's like Mug Marcus. It's awesome. I, I just love it. This is one of my favorites, too. The Shirley Temple. It's like she's in the blood in the cup. I love that one. You know? So, to me... um, I hope Fanatics backs up, man, just leaves us alone because I love the GPK the way they are, and uh, wow. So I am unbelievably satisfied. I appreciate it, Tops. You've gone above and beyond again for me. I, I really, and again, I'm, I'm not, I'm just people, be yourself. Do your own thing. Don't don't follow the trend. You can't, you're not going to be able to write a letter in like me. You're not going to sound like me because you're not me. You're not going to state the same things that I stated. Uh, and you're not going to do your thing. But that's in everything in life. Just do your own. Pave your own path. And, uh, you know, you be a leader and people will follow. Why be a follower? There's too many followers out there. So many followers. So check it out. Woo! You know, one filler card. I guess that's cool. But, I mean... 
Lo, it's so funny. Isaac, I was just just talking smack about you a day ago. Someone put up a card. He said, you know what? The only card I got, because someone said, oh, I think the top three people are, you know, is Lo, Pat, and Meeks. And I go, you know what? I can agree with that. I can agree with that because they really are probably the most sought after artists. That doesn't mean they're the best artists. But they're the most sought after artists. Their cards fetch the biggest heap, the biggest, the biggest chiching, chiching. Can you even imagine this one? Go back and look at the crashes one that I got. You can't even tell what character it is. It, it's just, it was like he did it in probably seconds. It, it probably took the guy maybe two minutes to draw the one that I did. This, this is phenomenal, phenomenal. I finally got one that's worth bragging about or talking about or showing or posting so wow i got my missing hits i put my hits in i put my damage form in that's it that's it people god bless i appreciate everyone always watching and and and, and coming in and and saying anything leaving a comment or you know hitting me up you know in cyberspace on any forum that i'm on whether i'm on twitter I'm on Twitter, at Blunt Factory, B-L-U-N-T-F-A-C-T-O-R-Y, um, Facebook, uh, I got some guys, that, you know, Facebook has my family and stuff on it, so I don't just accept everybody on there, it's it's more, you know, I'm really kind of more lenient with who comes in and comes out, uh, I mean, is it lenient, is that the word, uh, I'm trying to see, no, I'm a little more, uh, wary anyway, of who I let in and let out on that one, but, uh, you know, the YouTube, and man, I try to comment on anybody who comments on me, and I try to talk on everybody who talks on me, and I check out uh, many, many, many different, uh, you know, uh, uh, YouTubers, I mean, whatever, I mean, I'm not, you know, it's weird, my children, man, they watch all crazy, crazy crap, I guess I'm crazy too, if they looked at me and like, Dad, you're watching that crazy crap, but uh, I like YouTube better than television, I don't watch television, I'll go on, I'll see something that interests me, whether it's uh, National Geographic or Garbage Pails or, or, or action figures. or And then that's what I'll look up. I'd rather watch that than any kind of TV programming that they're trying to brainwash you with on uh, you know regular broadcasts. So thanks for tuning in to my stuff. Uh, I appreciate it as always. God bless. And until next time, woo! Look at that bad boy. Peace.